Hey, what's up, guys? We're gonna bring you here another Rust video. Um, you know, just doing all rig run again. Looks like somebody just died doing it, which is great. Like literally during this wipe, we've had so many people just like do all rig basically for us. So you know, it's free all rig run. It's nice being like right next to it. Um, a quick tip that I would have for you guys actually is to get a um, the little frequency things where you put in the frequency so you know what people are doing it. That way, like. If it happens, you can try to go counter it if you want, but, uh, you know, just running out here. We ended up seeing one of our neighbors come out their door while we're walking by, so, you know. Title of the video, title of the freaking series, Evict the Neighbors, so, taking everybody out. We've actually seen this guy so many times, literally, like, probably five times or six times we've killed him, and he just keeps him back to the same spot trying to build a base. I don't know why. Like, he should know by now that we're here, and he should just need to build somewhere else. And we've used this flamethrower so much, like, we've profited so much off of the flamethrower by itself. Um, ran back to our rig, we had a supply drop, might as well just bring it over there. So, like, really safe place to do it, because, you know, not a lot of people are going to just run across the ocean to try to get it. And you get to do all rig at the same time, it works out pretty well. So, we heard a guy shooting a Nyoka from probably four squares away, or something, and... He's just raiding this base, and he just keeps coming back. I'm actually surprised nobody else came over to try to just kill this guy. Bruh. Can you help me up at least? So, you know. He pretty much did most of the work for us. Brought our pump shotgun. Decided to finish it off. I actually didn't even see him there, like I barely saw him. Fuck dude. Yo, can you at least have me let me have some stuff, man? So finally broke through. Got pretty excited. And there's nothing. And I'm not gonna about to spend like a whole hour just shooting at a stone wall like that guy was. So, just went over, did a uh, over again, got an AK, which is nice. And I did it again just because it was just something to do, and I was just like, something I do kind of like on autopilot if I don't know what I want to do. Let's upgrade, upgrade to the base, check out some more bases around to see if there's something, you know, we wanted to raid. Um, this one didn't seem too bad. Looked kind of weird. And dude. Trees falling now and rust is so helpful to like find people doing stuff, and plus the sound too when they land like it helps out a lot. Especially since you can hear the trees fall farther than farther than when people hit them. So easily would like. This guy farmed so much for us. We didn't, we're literally just walking around just doing our own thing. Just getting free loot. So check out another base. Um, the build's kind of weird. I wouldn't do it like this just because it's kind of inefficient. And like, you have all these resources that you put out. But you're wasting all that when you could have made your base better. People are like distracted. I think it's always best just to like run up and get as close as you can, just because it makes it easier. You miss less shots. There's a less chance of them running away. And we were actually just by here because we wanted to raid this base right here with our flamethrower and our uh, grenade launcher. So you know, easy, quick raids with our flamethrower. Like we profited so much from just using a flamethrower and walking around. Like we've had to like not farm any sulfur, not waste time trying to do all that stuff. Literally just getting low grade, which is easy to get from either animal fat and cloth or you know, just getting a bunch of, um, just getting a bunch of low grade from doing, like, monuments and stuff, you know? It's not hard. Plus, like, we profited already, like, a satchel from using, what, a little bit of low grade, and plus whatever resources it's gonna have. End up hearing somebody outside. Don't know if they're gonna walk through a ladder or through the door. Right the door. And there it is, just another neighbor we're kicking out.
This goes a lot to base that. It looks like he was trying to build a, um, a bunker base, but like the easiest way to raid people that have bunker bases is when they're online because they don't have the bunker base set up, you know? You just run in there a little, you just break the, they don't even have to break the park because it's already broken. Just came back with a grenade launcher and we've run oil rig so many times, we have just so many like HG rounds for a grenade launcher, so it makes this easy. Again, didn't waste any sulfur or anything like that, so. It's just one of the perks of uh, setting up next to oil rig, which is great. And then, any time you see a scenario where there's like two doors like this, always use explosives and that kind of splash. Now, for this base, it doesn't matter as much because the door doesn't lead to anything on the other side, just because we walked around and we saw it. But, I've seen multiple bases that I've raided where they have it like this, and they, their door actually leads to something, and they're just making like, you know, raiding easier for you, just because you get to splash on both of them. So you're using like the amount of resources for one door for two. Ends up being a shotgun trap. Luckily we didn't get hit too bad, so. Um, quick tip for anybody that's new, like using Rust Labs to find out how much uh, how much it takes to break certain traps or doors or really anything you need to look up. It's a great website to use. It makes stuff way easier and you don't have to like try to guess um, what it takes to break something, you know? It just makes it to where you can figure things out and also use test servers. Test servers are great to figure out like uh, weird scenarios that you don't know how it's going to work or interact. Definitely do that. Raid was definitely worth it. We use HG rounds for um, for stuff that we you know got for free. We got the HG rounds for free and look, we got a bunch of satchels, guns, and a bunch of loot just for free. Like that's one of the perks of like living next to Ulrich. You get a bunch, you get so much out of it, and uh, it's easy to do also. So. We've literally kicked up like four neighbors already, and with not even a lot of work. Hey man, what's so, up? So, this is gonna come towards the end of the video, you know? Like, uh, we'd kicked out so many neighbors at this point, like, this whole side of the map was ours I'm basically. For the so, decided, you know, we're kinda done. We finished doing everything we wanted to do, so, decided to uh, give our base away to one of the guys that we ended up killing, actually. So, you know, just being friendly. It, you might as well give your base away if you're not going to play anymore, you know? Especially somebody that's either just starting or doesn't have a lot. Alright. Uh, uh, let me... Where are the locks at? So you can everything. Plus, you know, you can make friends this way if you don't have something to play duos yeah, with. This is a good way to do it too, you know? So, it makes things really easy. Um... So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you like, you know, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, I hope to be producing more videos like this. Hopefully, some uh, more to come in the future. I already have another video that I'm setting up, so I just uh, be looking out for the next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Appreciate you, man. I don't have, dude. I got raided. I didn't have much to begin with, but I got raided and. Didn't have shit. I was actually rebuilding a new base as you said that you were quitting. I, I appreciate you, brother.